This is a book called No Limits, The Amazing Life Story of Rona and Rhoda Wartell, who were Canada's first Olympic ski team. They uh, skied in the, they were champion skiers in the 1940s and 50s, and they taught many girls after that to ski. They then founded a women's ski club called the Twin Ski Club, and they are still skiing now well into their 80s. So I'd like you to read the beginning of the book. On a clear winter day in the heart of Montreal, two identical girls stood at the top of a hill on ponderous seven-foot hickory skis and dreamed of flight. It wasn't the first time. In 1933, the 11-year-old twins were already veteran skiers. Rhoda and Rona Wertel had been strapping their brother's skis to their leather lace-up boots and skiing the gully, a half-mile slope down Westmount Hill in Montreal, since they were five years old. The, ski, the hill was a short walk from the front door of their family's Elizabethan home, and they had hiked the distance many times. The gully was a bumpy, two-tracked piste that seemed tailor-made to train skiers for any eventuality. Today, the track has become Summit Circle, a Tony Street winding past magnolias and fortresses of the wealthy, a place where people like to think they can keep the unpredictable at bay. But the twins weren't thinking of any of that, and especially not of the future. The gully was only the means to an end, and the end was a massive wooden structure that rose from the mountainside, beside the junior ski jump, where skiers took off from a jump built into the hill, towered the 125-foot-high senior ski jump. The jumps had the allure of forbidden fruit. The twins' older brothers, future Air Force aces Edgar and George, both regularly flew off the end of the things in the same long, four-inch-wide, glorified barrel staves with four grooves on the bottom. It was a wonder they got any air at all. But professional male jumpers could wing it for 148 feet before gravity remembered them. Upon landing, the skiers had to turn fast so they wouldn't jump again over the big snowdrift at the end of the run and come down through the roof of a tennis clubhouse. That afternoon, watching Edgar soar off the rickety jump, Rhoda and Rona asked each other if today was the day to make the leap, take that jump. That was the danger and delight of being twins. You always had an alter ego to push you further or pull you back. They soon found themselves at the top of the junior jump, and before they knew it, off its ramp. It is neither esoteric nor complicated, the feeling that comes from ski jumping. It feels as if you can fly. Granted, it lasts only two or three seconds before the earth comes rushing up to take you back in her arms. Except that those two or three seconds are forever. Thank you very much.